you have any insights into how he Oh Palu, that's Samus it. Samus versus Palu. I mean, I feel like maybe this matchup has gotten a little better over the years as these characters have sort of converged due to patches towards like a yeah. healthier middle ground, but I still feel like this is a matchup that Palu's is like, oh Samus? Cool. Thanks. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past anyone who says Palu has the winning matchup. To be to be fair, stuff like that is what keeps Samus very relevant in this game. The character is Loki Slepcon for reasons I cannot comprehend. And I mean, I mean, one thing that the character is so good at is at the ledge. When you see a good Samus player, one of the things they do is they just keep their opponent. Recognize that he went for down smash, a move that really is only useful at sending your opponent back off stage. That's the number one priority here. And I mean, look at it. It's paid off 100% on Mishka. Okay, but now it's Mishka's turn. Let's see how it ends up panning out. I'm sorry to interrupt. These faces are correct? Yes. Okay, thank you. And if I'm wrong, I will eat crow. But anyway. And now Mishka is... No, Mishka's a Samus, pardon me. But Mishka is content to, you know, charge shot below platform as most owners do on PS2, which is something I don't think is talked about enough. Like, PS2 here and in most places of the U.S. is considered, like, the most neutral stage in the game. I'm here to tell you, it's really not. Yeah, that's... It really isn't. That's back air propaganda. Small honestly. battlefield propaganda. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I think that's just characters with good back air propaganda mm -hmm. and chargeable projectiles. Like, there are plenty Come of through. characters that, yeah. Man, I cannot believe they decided that move was going to be a kill, bro. That upsets me so much. You have no idea. Like, I, I, I get to understand, like, you know, Samus' character is still perfectly fine and balanced with it, but it felt like such a part of the character's kid is they're like, I can just shoot against this. I, I use the word, it. I use the word balance in this game very liberally, but... I guess compared to, say, you know, the uptick of DLC Wave 2, Samus is a lot more tame compared to the explosiveness of those characters. And even, like, pre-patch Palo. Pre-patch Palo was, um, the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> yeah, but nothing pre-patch about this. She's struggling to kill. That was one of the biggest uh, sort of things that they took away from Palo. And you're seeing how much of a difference that makes. Saya being trapped at the ledge and, uh... Okay, getting that back air is still not enough. Samus is a heavy character. Heavier than Ridley. Heavier than most other zoners, really. And Mishka really does not have to approach. Like, he is super content to just sit here, throw everything, including the kitchen sink at Palu, and not be contested for it much. Yeah, However... Yeah, I, I mean, look at that. Mishka, I realized that Mishka was in the corner, and I guess he felt the need to aggressively get out of the corner, but that is what caused him to stop. Granted, he's doing pretty well right now. Oh, my God. Uh, Messiah already eating 107%, while Mishka is still sitting at a clean zero. Wow, look at that. Neutral such a hard move to punish for so many characters, but not a problem for Samus and her upbeat. That could have been a lot worse, all things considered. That's not going to kill yet. Operative keyword. I feel like there was maybe a kill option that was available to Mishka right there. See, but now this That's is this is dangerous because you're definitely at kill throw range, so now Samus has the leg up in the mid range, which is usually Palu's domain. I'm seeing a lot of upbees, which... I mean, it was working out earlier, but then so funny. In the end, an aggressive neutral there to get back from the uh, disadvantage stage is what takes that second stock. And now, if you're Messiah, what's the game plan here? Tries to stay on that platform. That platform isn't safe. Barely. I'm not sure how the auto radical didn't lock the on, but all right. Get in the way. Does that make a difference? That is so weird. Ooh, that could have been. That could have been a punish. Yeah, I feel like even neutral there right there. You know, Messiah, like, he's not being given too many opportunities to get a real combo started, and during those rare chances he does have that Watch ability, he's not really making the most of it. Okay. Over there, putting Messiah off stage once again. Look at this two-stop. Caught stop. your jump. One. Though that fair stale now. <gasps> Ooh, 
cheeky. I also like that up B on stage. Just get away from the ledge. The ledge has been a nothing but a never-ending nightmare for Messiah. A pain, torment, and that is the first yeah. game going to Mishka. Man, I feel like we just watched somebody come in with a plan and it just worked. It absolutely worked. Like, like this like this player has definitely been leveling up as they've come here. This is why like this is why I love, you know, House and Zeno. Just you'll see you'll actually see people gradually level up in real time if you come here often. Damn. Now that's just the case for New York in general, because God, we're so competitive here. I mean that's that's the city, baby. And up, up, Damn, and away. I can't believe that kills at 142. There, there was rage That's granted, like, and Palu was light, but... That wasn't that much rage, and Palu's not that light. But Palu, Palu's light enough, but the fact that it's a kill throw now, like, in general, it didn't it used to, it didn't used to be. That that got added in, like, well, much later. I want to say, like, a year into the game's lifespan, and it definitely gave her a leg up in the matchup. I mean, I think it's one of the best up throw kill throws in the game. It's definitely top five. Pro probably. I'd, there aren't many up there I'd have to look those. at the whole cast of 86 plus characters, but top five for her, that doesn't sound unreasonable. Three, two, one. All right, so we're going to Hollow Bastion now. I do like the idea of removing those platforms on PS2 that it was so clear that she was just camping underneath. Yep. Still not punishing those uppies. There has to be a, even if you're gonna get less damage, there has to be a more reliable way of connecting. Because, you know, Samus does have a pretty bad disadvantage state, so if you can hit her once, put her in the air, and just keep her there, that's also, you know, the, as good as getting your nice combo. Whoa, dear. That's, I kind of have flashbacks of Smash 4 for a second there. I saw one hit, and Pal went super, oh, that's a bad angle. Do you have your jump? You don't, but you barely made it back. Okay, here we go. Watch you jump again. See, this is really hard. What do you do here? Yeah, this is... Except for... Damn, oh. that, that was a nasty call-out. I respect that. Also, I feel like that was kind of shown to be Messiah's panic option. He's going for ledge jump, ledge jump. He clearly wanted to just jump over Mishka. Which, think about the wall that Mishka's putting up. Like, we you might can't have go a, underneath. Okay, there you go. That's, I do like that as an option, but you're not going to be able to get away with that for too long. I'd be surprised if it works a second time, honestly. That might also be another reason why Messiah chose this stage, because you can teleport onto the middle platform of Hollow Bastion and be relatively okay. That's how you have to get past this wall of gloom, doom, and misery. And three stocks. Mishka has three, yeah, Mishka has three stocks. So far, uh, no kills unanswered. Yeah, I... It really does seem like Messiah has... Oh, no! There it goes. Like, Messiah really started to clean up the disadvantage stage. You know, like, was getting trapped in the legs and like, okay, here's an option I haven't tried before. Okay, this is working. And then by the end, wasn't getting hit by that same sort of, I touch you once and you put on the ledge, you're put on the ledge and now you're going to take 150. Like, but how, how long? Never, even though the disadvantage was better, uh -huh. the, the, the aggression never came to play. Like, yeah. you never managed to turn that survivability into, a, like, an actual weapon. Like this, like this set here, as we see now, which is well, it was like barely under two minutes. How much of that second game was just Messiah at the, you know, off stage trying to get back onto center? I mean, I'll be honest, that's this game, bro. <laughs> if, especially when you're fighting Samus, I. Yeah, no, it's like honestly, a lot of characters. Just oh boy, put a, get a stopwatch. 